You have a situation, Libra, in which you feel very much like your money has been turned upside down by a very manipulative, controlling boss, company, situation, however you want to word it. But you are coming in with the energy of being at a crossroads. That is your overall energy is to make a choice in the month of September. These readings are predictive readings, so it may not resonate completely with you. It's not supposed to. But the devil energy is really, that's somebody who's being very manipulative. And not only that, it's sort of like, look at how handsome the devil is and the sparkles in the hair and the beautiful eyes. But what you don't see is a manipulation or you didn't see it in the past. Now, this means that you feel totally like you're in a situation it's sort of like a gilded cage the there's a, an expression at least in the u.s it talks about the fist in the velvet glove you know it's like when somebody's pretty rough with you or very demanding of you and yet there's enough good in the situation to sort of keep you almost feeling like you're addicted but it has adversely affected your money Whatever you've invested in this situation, situationship, relationship, to me it looks primarily like a job situation, but it'll be different for different people. But it really shows that your investment has not paid off, that you are not happy with your returns, that whatever you were promised or whatever you were told that you would receive has yet to manifest. And you are looking at this from a different perspective. You come into this reading just wondering what the heck to do. You know, this is just like, well, I know there's something left, but I'm not sure if I want what's left. Now, this is where the turning point comes in, and it's a beautiful turning point, Libra, because you become the Aries queen, and you absolutely refuse to be controlled. Aries queen is somebody who has a lot of initiative. You are coming in with this beautiful initiative. You're, nobody's going to be able to get one over on you. You are not having it. This is your fulfillment card. This is a card that says you are taking action. Not only that, you're taking action for those of you who are in a love relationship. You're taking action to manifest new love. You're in a very spiritual place right now. You're beautiful inside, you're beautiful outside. It really speaks volumes to the fact that you are manifesting all your hopes and dreams for love or whatever your goals are. I think that you have two situations going on as did Gemini. I feel as though you have a relationship here with a very sexy devil that you feel hung up on. I also feel as though you have a job situation or career situation that seems like it's too good to be true, but oh, that's not the case. But in love, we have you manifesting your hopes and dreams for love. This is a card of healing Aquarius energy. It is your sister sign. And when we get the Ace of Cups, it really speaks to the fact with the magician card that you have manifested something divinely beautiful that you love you could be you, this could mean you love a career it could mean you love a person and probably means both so when we look at what you are desirous of your wishes is to go from this reversed seven of pentacles which is scratching dirt with no harvest to the eight of pentacles and that's the direction you're moving in the eight the excuse me the queen of wands aries energy is a consummate business person it's the energy of enthusiasm and drive and you can beat everybody else on the playground it's that aries warrior energy and you are very focused on a very grounded way in a grounded way and you have one, two, three, four, four major arcanas in this reading. And your outcome is that you are releasing this devil energy. You are letting go of it. When we look at the, um, the judgment card, that is a card of release. That's letting go. That's you deciding that you're not going to have it. 
It's you being willing to just step aside, to step away from an energy that has been toxic for you. I love this because you are manifesting. You have all the tools and you have all the capacity and you are bringing in something new and brilliant. Your judgment is a decision that you make that's going to pay off in a big way. Because when we get the hopes and dreams, you have already won the unseen victory hidden in the magician, magician's toolbox. You are there, you've manifested it, you can't see it yet, but it is yours. It's good as gold. So let's go ahead and look at the details here. I'm going to pull a couple of Lenormand cards to clarify what it might be, or to get more information, for some people at least, <clears throat> about how this is going to unfold, or what the topics are. You know, what might, Libra be releasing or the decision around releasing well that's <laughs> that's not really a card it's the face card of the deck the artwork sorry about that oopsie okay so Libra look at this okay so look at oh mountain restrain your ambitions with more respect for others so that's what we have is been has been really ghosting or you know troubling you is that you have someone who is pushing you so hard and they're not paying you adequately but they're pushing you beyond the edges of reason a lot of times I see this energy with people who are in marketing or sales where you know it's it's that theory that you just kind of work till you drop for the boss and, but yet you don't get the reward. Look at, you're not getting the rewards. So that's the energy that I see releasing. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here for the judgment card is your outcome. What's the judgment? What decision? What will bring about or what will be brought about or manifested by this decision that Libra's about to make? Stork, don't re run ahead. Wait patiently. Okay, so that doesn't give us the information we want yet. So basically it says don't release yet. The advice is don't do this too quickly. Take a deep breath, Libra. Take a deep breath. You're going to get what you want. We have garden. Be more enthusiastic and you'll achieve what you wish. So more advice is ah act quickly but without losing your head that is this beautiful energy of manifesting your hopes and dreams releasing that which doesn't serve really staying very calm and again the card of manifestation for those who want new love it's here <clears throat> you might not even know it yet but for many of you this is something that you don't even see coming in we also have this, the sieve. End and revival await you, and that is what the judgment card means. It is very scorpionic, Aries energy. It's cutting away that which doesn't serve you, like a surgeon cutting out a cancer. And I don't mean the sun sign. <laughs> so we're going to look at this beautiful energy. I want to really see, pull a little bit of energy here to clarify what's going on in love for you. Ooh, Gemini had a couple of the same energy cards. So you may be dealing with a Gemini with that magician. Okay, so why do we have the Ace of Cups here for Libra? <gasps> the Lover's card. Hopes and dreams for love come true. You've manifested a soulmate love. My gosh. And for some of you, what you will release is a toxic relationship that hasn't paid. So, you know, it'll, it'll be different for different people because it's a general reading. But my God, Libra, <laughs> that's an exciting reading. All right. So I think we know enough about that. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to take a look at a new Oracle deck, the Priestess of the Light Oracle. And these are exquisite. So let's see what we have for messages for our beautiful Libra friends. From the Priestess of the Light. All right. They shuffle so 
nicely. There we go. So please give us two cards for Libra. Please give us two cards for the two paths that Libra could take to help Libra in their decision making. Give us two messages, please. There's one. And we have two. Oh, sacred breath and sound, life force. So you really have to protect your life force because the devil will suck it right out of you. Look at that with that manipulation. So you are releasing yourself into a sacred space. Beautiful with this judgment card, okay? Beautiful energy. And we have healing the heart oh my god that's that's what you are also doing so you are healing the heart from a toxic energy again this does not preclude that you will be most likely also releasing a boss or a toxic work relationship all right but you can really see the progression here you know going from the devil to the release your new love coming in that ace of cups coming in and um, your hopes and dreams for love coming true with this new love this new person look at that so libra i just want to say thank you so much for joining me today sending you love from chicago bye bye libra take care